everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how we can apply regression analysis to an insurance data set. So we'll be taking a look at that and we'll also be taking a look at how we can interpret the model, how we can understand how the model can be used for predictions and also how we can interpret the different variables of regression analysis. As I talked in my previous video, regression analysis is a very important technique not only used used for predictions but also for understanding your data and understanding your different variables and its impact on the target variable. So without wasting any more time, let us dive right into it. But before we dive right into it, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics across Python and Excel. So this is the insurance data set. Okay, It has some variables. Let's take a look at it has the gender, the uh, whether the person is smoker, not smoker, age, BMI, the number of children, the region, the person is from and the charges. We are interested in the charges. The charges is the variable of interest or the variable that we want to predict. So let us write down the equation. Okay, so first let us write down the equation that we are going to use for. So for the first model, let us take only the age and BMI and let's see if we can explain the charges using these two variables. So I'm going to say charges is equal to B0. That is nothing but the Y intercept when all are the other X variables are zero plus B1 into H plus B2 into BMI. Now let us see with BMI and H as the two X variables, can we explain the charges or can we, are we able to predict the charges you know, properly? Okay. And we'll be doing our regression analysis. Also, when we do regression analysis, these B0, B1, B0 is the y intercept and B1 and B2 are called the coefficients. Our main aim is to evaluate the coefficients. Okay, in machine learning or, or any regression analysis, we want to evaluate the coefficients, which gives us the good fit for the model, how we can try to fit a model to the data. Okay. So, and when we do regression analysis, we need to remember one more important thing. Okay, so regression analysis assumes a few things. The first thing it assumes that B1 is equal to zero. That is, the, that is the B1 coefficient is equal to zero and B2 is also equal to zero. So it is up to us to prove from the regression analysis if, so these are the two null hypothesis it assumes, okay, that B1 is, is equal to zero and B2 is, is also equal to zero. So it is for us to disprove the null hypothesis or reject the null, uh, null hypothesis. That means when we reject the null hypothesis, we are able to say that yes, age or BMI does have an impact on, on the charges. It can be used to predict the charges. So let us see how we can come to these conclusions using the regression analysis. So I'm going to go to the data tab and I'm going to click on data analysis. And we'll be covering a lot of different topics in this series. So do, do uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a deep dive into a lot of different topics and concepts for regression analysis and also using different data sets. So click on regression. The Y range is going to be charges. Now let us go to the X range. So first we're building a very simple model. Let's, let's take with two numerical variables, BMI and H. Control shift down. Let us go up. And now let be sure to click on labels. Okay, let's put it here only in the same sheet. The output. Okay. And here you have got your regression analysis. Now we can see the R squared and the adjusted R squared. I've explained in my previous videos. If you have not taken a look at that, do take a look. But generally, R square and adjusted R square are what? The R square is generally used to explain, is, is used to tell us that how much of the variability in the output variable or the variable that we're trying to predict can be explained by the explanatory variables. In this case, the explanatory variables are age and BMI. We are trying to ex explain the charges, whether can we predict the charges or the variability in the charges by using age and BMI. So this is 0.11. That means only 11% of the variability in the charges can be explained by age and BMI. So you might say this is a quite a, po a poor number. Okay. And we, this model, and, and you may be right, this model cannot, be, may not be useful for your know, predictions just yet, but we are, we are going to see how we can improve this model to make your know, predictions. But it will still help us understand the variables of the data set. So let us look, take a look at one one variable. So we can see age, the p value 
and the p-value for BMI. Now, as we discussed, when we do a, a linear regression analysis, the the regression analysis assumes the null hypothesis that b1 is equal to 0 and b2 is equal to 0. But if the p-values are less than 0 0.05, so you can see here it is less than 0 0.05 and here it is less than 0 0.05, then we can reject the null hypothesis. So we re reject the null hypothesis that b1 is 0 and we can reject the null hypothesis that b2 is 0. That means the coefficients could be significant, which means that if you, if, if you take a look at age, at the coefficient for age, this can be interpreted as for every unit increase in age. So when the age increases by 1, the charges go up by 241.9. Okay, whatever may be the unit, rupees, dollars. Okay. Similarly for BMI, when the BMI goes, goes up by 1 unit, it increases by 1, the charges in, increase by 332. And since these both p values are less than 0 0.05, we can see both the curve, we can reject both the null hypothesis and they are both statistically significant. Now let's take a look at, we have added two numerical variables. Let us see if we can add one more categorical variable and see if it's of any use. So I'm going to insert a, a column here and this is how we encode categorical variables because we cannot input non-numerical values for regression analysis. So it has to be numericals. So I'm going to say male. If is equal to male, then we are going to code 1 as code 0. Okay. Now this is our categorical variable in a numerical format. Let me just copy it and paste it side by side. Insert cut cells. Okay. One second. Let me copy this. Okay. So now you have male, age and PMI. Now let us try to modify this. So let's try to make this model a little bit more complex and let's see if we can by adding another explanatory variable, can we explain the charges? So it's going to be plus B3 into male. Okay. And again, this will give us an interesting insight to the data, even if it may not improve its predictability. So let us go to the data analysis, click on regression. And again, let us select charges here. Let's select the input X chain. I can remember to select male, age, and BMI. Okay. And let us place it below here and hit OK. So we can see the R squared has gone up, not by much, just by 1%. So now 12% of the variability in the charges can be explained by these three explanatory variables. And let's take a look at the P values, male, age, and so the model is still not very good but still we can understand more about the variables of our data. So male also is less than 0 0.05. Okay. Age is less than 0 0.05 and B, BMI is less than 0 0.05. So we can reject all the null, all the three null hypothesis. And that means all these coefficients. Okay. That means age, BMI and male are statistically uh, significant and all these coefficients are not zero. Okay. So, now, how do we interpret? We have already seen how we interpret age and BMI, but how do we interpret interpret male? So, whenever we do encode a categorical variable, it's always done with reference to another variable. So, here we have two categories, male and female. So, we interpret this with reference to the other category in the in, in the categorical variable there, that is female. So, how we can interpret is, is this that if the person is male, then the insurance price is 1344 more than what it would be for a person who's female. So we can now see now male age and BMI are important factors okay, for understanding how they impact your price, but the model is still not uh, very good. Do stay tuned in the next video. I will show you some other steps, how we can improve the model drastically and how we can example uh, some more variables. So do remember that regression analysis is very important for understanding the relationships between your variables in your data and you'll see different techniques when you understand your relationships, how you can improve your model and make better predictions. So even though the model currently is, cannot be useful for, for making predictions, it still gives us a lot of insight on the data and how it is related to the explanatory variables. It helps you understand that how male, age and BMI impact your your uh, target variable, that is the variable you want to uh, predict, how your explanatory variables, each variable uh, affect your target variable. And remember, when you're interpreting this, when you're interpreting each variable, 
all other variables have to remain at the same level. So when I'm saying for a unit increase in age, the the uh, insurance premium will go up by 243. That means all the other variables are kept constant. Similarly, if the person is male and all other variables kept uh, at the same level, then as compared to a female, the insurance price will be 1344 more. I hope you liked the video. If you did enjoy the video, do leave a comment and a like. It will be appreciated and I'll be making a lot many more videos on the series for details deep dive and analysis on regression analysis. Do stay tuned. Thank you.